it's Denise and we are back with another vertical styled journaling. This year I'm going to be using a planner from I think it's TSKP Studio also known as the sticker kit planner. I am really excited to get back into a coil bound notebook because at the end of the year I really want all my pages to be bound together so I can flip through it easily. The one that I have will be slightly different than the one she offers in the future because the one that I have, it's just the weekly spreads and she used to offer a more customizable one where if you didn't want the monthly pages, you didn't have to get it, like I didn't want them. But I think she's switching it to like a standard, all of her notebooks will have monthly and weekly spreads. I didn't really have a purpose for monthly spreads, so I didn't want them. And I do think that her price point has changed since I bought it. I think I got it for like $40 and I think it has increased slightly. So just follow her Instagram if you want the latest updates. The paper quality is super nice. It's nice and thick. I think it's 67 pound cardstock and the layout is pretty standard. I think she created it so that it would fit most or all of vertical styled planner kits. I think the only issue is like the bottom washi section. It varies between shops, so you may have to toy around with that. But it's overall a really nice notebook if you wanted to do this style of decorating. It has been a really, really long time since I last did a voiceover for this kind of journaling. So sorry if I'm a little bit rusty. But I'm using for the week of New Year's a kit from Sadie Stickers. This is, a, I think, a pretty old format of hers. I'm actually not entirely sure. But it is a holiday themed kit, but it's kind of like the champagne gold feel. And I still had a couple of holiday virtual events to attend, so I didn't mind that it wasn't actually New Year's themed. But it does give off that celebration vibe, so I just went along with it. So I am personally going to be using this as a journal since I am putting down all of these stickers after the week has ended. So I don't think I can call this a plan with me. I'm going to continue calling it a journal with me since I'm basically just logging chronologically my everyday life. The purpose is just for funsies and it's nice to look at and it's fun to do. And that's all I need, I think. That's all the reason. So for the setup, I put down the date covers and I did fiddle around with the bottom washi. I ended up leaving like a small gap between the end of the column and the bottom washi just to give it that white space feel. I also started putting down the headers and one thing I really like about the layout of the pages is that there's a space so you know exactly where to place the headers. You don't have to guess like I had to do in my old planner it just this just makes it really easy and fast so starting with Monday I put down a half box and a health professional Maru from my shop to note that I had an ultrasound appointment and this was just a checkup appointment because of course in 2020 being the year that it was I discovered that I had a lump in one of my breasts and that was abnormal so I went to get it checked up and I had a biopsy done it came out as negative for cancer, which was really relieving. And this was just the follow-up checkup and the results were that it was negative for changes. So totally benign and I can rest a little bit easier now. It was a pretty significant event. So I wanted to put a little extra on the page for it. So I had a celebrating Maru to make that whole box dedicated to the fact that I'm healthy. I also wanted to mark that Brian finally started his vacation. Since the pandemic started, he hasn't taken a day off, which um, makes me sad because I know he works really hard, so I want him to take vacations and breaks. So I marked that with a little custom munchkin from Once More With Love. Even though we didn't physically go to any holiday events, I still felt a little burnt out in the end. So I joined Brian and we just had some relaxation time to ourselves, probably didn't do much and that is totally fine. I put down a I'm very busy munchkin from Once More With Love and then I wrote post Christmas groggy. I wanted to write 
post-Christmas grog, but then I googled and grog isn't a word and grogginess seemed too long, so I just made up my own word, I guess. We've also been watching Silicon Valley, which is very close to home because we're from basically Silicon Valley, and Jared's my favorite character, Guilfoyle's my next favorite, and then I don't like anybody else, but I'm still interested in the storyline. So we ended up finishing it the week after, but yeah, we watched that at night, and Tuesday I went grocery shopping for the first time in like three weeks, and I was very excited to go to Trader Joe's. I used a page flag and I layered on top a grocery cart from my shop. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not know that I love going to Trader Joe's. I, I don't know, it's just so much fun and trying to get all the seasonal items. So I love it so much that I had a dream the other night that I went to Trader Joe's and I was really happy and I got like this mochi cake mix that recently came out but I can't get because we're not going grocery shopping in person anymore and then it quickly turned into a nightmare because I realized that I wasn't wearing a mask and I looked around and no one else was wearing a mask and then I panicked in the dream. I mean, doesn't that sound a little bit ridiculous? If 2019 me had that same dream, I would have woken up and been like, that was weird. But these days, it's a very realistic fear. Tuesday evening, Brian and I watched Happiest Season and I love Aubrey Plaza. So excited that she was in it. A very modern take on a holiday movie. Very cute. And I would watch it again. I kind of just wanted to use up some holiday stickers. So I used these sugar cookies from my shop to decorate. And then I did run 5k that evening. So I used this happy dye ornament sticker from a sampler way back. And I wrote directly on the paper with my Tombow brush pen. And I checked the other side to see if it bled through and the ink did not. So Wednesday, I had to get a few important things done. The first being I had to call around several car repair shops because <laughs> the night after Christmas, my car window was smashed and it was like the strangest mystery because, well, first of all, uh, we didn't even notice that my car window was missing because it was completely missing and there was no glass on the sidewalk because they had smashed it inward and it was like the day after Christmas so everybody was in their home being cozy and no one was really walking about and it wasn't until like the next night when Brian went to, I don't know, check my car on something or move my car, he told me what had happened and we even looked at the security camera and we could see the person walking straight to my car, like they didn't scout any other cars. We can hear the sadness of the window being smashed and then they didn't even check my car. Like they didn't open the trunk, they didn't open the doors. It was really weird, but I'm glad nothing was taken, at least to my knowledge. And if I'm trying to find a silver lining, I'm very fortunate that I still at least have a working car. A window is replaceable. I wasn't like directly attacked or anything, so I don't know. <sighs> what a ye what a way to end 2020. Anyways, I dropped off some mail. I used a sticker from Happy Daya, and then in a half box, I wrote that I had a drawing session. That iPad sticker is from my shop, and if you didn't know, I hand draw all of the sticker designs that are available. I forgot how much I dislike writing against the coil. My handwriting wasn't the greatest, so I decided to move the munchkin sticker onto a label and then I used some whiteout and I wrote that I went for a run before we watched the imitation game late in the night. I thought it would be a cute way to mark my run by using this holiday elf on the shelf sticker from Once More With Love. Flipping over to Thursday, it is New Year's Eve and so I have these really old script stickers that were once in my shop so I put that down on top of the full box and I spent majority of the day drawing some more. That character sticker is from Happy Daya and then for dinner I wanted hot pot because it just seems so warm and cozy and that was the theme for this New Year's Eve. Since Brian was on winter break we watched a lot of movies this week this time we watched the movie Abominable and I wrote that on this winter 
steel shaped sticker from Happy Daya and I layered the popcorn bucket from my shop on top. I wanted to fill in a little bit of that white space so I used a little foiled bow from The Giving Girl. I picked one of the drink stickers from my cocktail sheet to note that I tried a new recipe for something called a matcha mule. My usual go-to alcoholic drink at a bar or wherever is a Moscow mule. And so this is very similar. There's vodka, ginger beer, a little bit of lemonade, matcha, and I think that's pretty much it. And it was, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Brian is not a fan of matcha, so he gave his drink to me. So I got to drink both. <laughs> we stayed up playing some beer pong and then uh, closer to midnight, we decided to FaceTime Amy and we got to count down to 2021 together. I slept in a little bit Friday and then I continued to draw. That is my usual work cycle. I have to draw for like maybe two weeks so I can have a big enough batch and then I send it to the manufacturer and then it continues. I put down a half box and I used another holiday script sticker on top. We had to do a curbside pickup from the container store later that day. I had ordered a set of storage containers for all my baked ingredients like flour, brown sugar, powdered sugar, and it was I think on 30% sale for the OXO brand and I heard they are really good so I wanted to better organize the kitchen. To be fair, most of the kitchen's mess is due to me because I'm the one who's always making the mess and always baking something or cooking something, so I should try to make it look a little bit cleaner. <laughs> that day, I tried to film my 2021 planner lineup video. The one that I ended up liking should be up and you, I'll leave a card at the top if you haven't seen it yet. But this is the first time that I tried and I said in that video and I'll say it here that I didn't really like how it turned out the first time. The natural lighting wasn't working for me and I was trying to do a talk through and I wasn't saying what I, everything that I wanted to say and the way I wanted to say it. That's why I always have to do voiceovers because I will say the same thing over and over again until I say it nearly perfectly, which is not the greatest, but that's how it is. So I used a Happy Daya sticker for that. And since I felt like I messed up the first time filming, I felt really bad or I felt really down the rest of the night, but Brian was there to comfort me, which I very much appreciate. So on Saturday, I woke up feeling a lot better and motivated to try a different video concept, which is the one I ended up posting. So I used a half box and an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co to mark filming again. That afternoon, I met up with Amy, Julia, and Carolyn, and we had a virtual secret Santa. So I used a little Santa gift bag from my shop to mark that. It was honestly a hilarious secret Santa. It is exactly how you would imagine a virtual one to be. Just kind of like a mess, but in a really, I don't know, funny way. Carolyn and I somehow got each other to be secret Santas and then Amy and Julia were each other's secret Santas and all of the gift notes were everywhere. Like I wrote a poem to give to Carolyn and the company completely omitted my poem. There was no gift note. And then for Carolyn, the gift note that she left ended up being printed on the outside label of the box. So I immediately knew it was her. <laughs> And then what else? I think, uh, was it Julia's? Julia's gift ended up having Amy's last name on the box. It was just, it was funny. Ah, uh, 2020 secret Santas. Yep. Um, I used a collab sheet with Paper Kumiko for FaceTiming. Brian and I had Hawaiian food for dinner, so I used a spoon and fork doodle from my shop and we watched Arrival, which is a pretty good movie. It's kind of slow, but I still liked it and I thought it would be perfect to use the little squid character from Mario because it kind of looks like the aliens, you know? And then on Sunday, I continued filming for the video. I baked some gingerbread because I had some leftover cookie dough in the fridge from the previous week and I used a sticker from my shop. I marked filming this journal with me, 
with a Maru reindeer paperclip from the holiday release. And then afterwards, I edited the 2021 lineup video and I used a computer monitor sticker from Happy Daya. One thing that I got really into the year 2020 were Chloe Ting workouts. I did a whole bunch of different challenges and I think I liked the Get Peachy one the most because it used weights and I'm not a weightlifter or anything. I'm very much a newbie at that, but I still really enjoyed it and she came out with a new workout plan for January and there was a pre-challenge, so Brian and I did that and I used a squatting sticker from my shop. And to end what felt like a stay-at-home staycation, I used one of my favorite stickers from Lovely Mine to decorate the end of Sunday. Alright, so that is the end of this journal with me. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was honestly a week that was more interesting than normal because we watched a lot of movies and there were holidays. I think the future ones will be a lot shorter since they won't be as eventful. But yes, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, click the like button and subscribe for more. And comment down below what you did for New Year's Eve. And I hope to talk to you guys very soon. Alright, bye!